guys, I'm Saramo the Bears and I am back in my tutorial studio. I have easy circuit for you. It is compact power display. The left LED display shows charge of your battery grid in percentage. The middle LED display shows your actual power usage. And the right LED display shows the amount of energy left in minutes. As we can see right here, the battery grid is charged 50%. I am using 420 watts and the base would run 72 minutes if I will cut the power right there. This is my testing battery, so I have 74 minutes of energy left. So if I will switch on this transformer which is set to 3500 watts I can see the base will survive only 80 minutes then the battery grid will be flat I will switch off this transformer right now and we can see I have energy for 73 minutes let's take a look what is behind that wall I remove the wall and I remove the floor so you can see what is behind Let's build it together from a scratch. We will need three LED displays, any size is up to you. One, two, three. Next thing, we will need a batch reader. We'll put it here. Then we need a IC housing. integrated circuit or IC and we need a cable analyzer it looks like this first we will program our badge reader so the input will be our stationary battery the value will be average the variable will be ratio and it works right now next thing we will rename our LED displays so this one will be percentage this one will be usage and this one will be time the next step is our IC housing we will program the screws D0 will be our badge reader. Just like this. D1 will be our cable analyzer. Just like this. And now we will program our LED displays. D3 will be our percentage next one usage E4 and D5 is our time display just like this I will turn on I see housing and we need the program. I have the computer right here and this one has motherboard IC editor inside. That's for new players. So now you will click edit library. You will find SDB compact power display on in workshop you will click load instructions overwrite close it confirm export and that's it if everything is all right we will turn on the LED displays 
and we see some numbers. And let's try if it works. So I will switch off the computer and we can see it works. I still have one screw here, D2, which is not used yet. I have some use for it, but I'm not going to spoil it. You will see it in next video. Let me know in the comments what do you think about screw D2, what I am going to use it for. Our circle is working, so I will finish it with wall. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.